Howdy folks, Sandra Lee here, aka Nocturnal Butterfly, coming at you from Ontario again with a short video on how I dehydrate my cabbage. Stay planted. First, you wanna wash your cabbage really, really well. You can also soak it in a bit of salt water for a while if there's, you know, if you're just getting it fresh out of your garden and it's full of little creepy crawlies. Then, you want to peel off any outer leaves, get rid of any damage or anything like that. And depending on how big your cabbage is, now this bad boy was around 10 or 11 pounds. I'll insert a picture here of exactly how big it was. Then you're gonna to wanna to cut it into about between four and six pieces, whether you want them to be shredded or chunked or anything like that. You can stick them in the food processor or like I said, do it by hand, which is what I'm gonna do here. All right, and after you get it cut into the four or six pieces that you want, you're gonna to wanna to take out that core. You can see it right there. Yeah, and that's simple. You just cut it, cut it out like that, and you can just, and you discard it. Now you can save the outer leaves and put it in your freezer for your future vegetable stock, like I showed you in a previous video. But you don't wanna to save too much cabbage and put it in your stock, because it can make your stock bitter. So just a little bit is fine. Okay, now we're gonna get to chopping. I want this to be a little bit thinner. So, I'm gonna cut that up. Watch your fingers, don't cut like I am. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, now we're gonna take our pieces, just set them over here because my cutting board is rather crowded right now. And like I said, cut into the size pieces that you want, chunks or, kind of shreddy slices, just like that. This is how I like to do mine. And you put them in, you know, put them in a bowl, set aside, and we'll be back. Alrighty, we're back, and our beautiful cabbage is all chopped up. Isn't it lovely? Lovely cabbage. Okay, now we wanna put it on our dehydrator. I'm gonna use these, just in case there's small pieces that'll fall through. Um, you can also use the uh, jelly roll ones to put on the bottom if any little pieces fall through if you want to do that. Either way, it's just fine. So here we go, we're gonna start. Like I always say in my, put a little thingy over the hole, stops it from falling through. All right, now it's fine if these are touching a little bit, they'll shrink up and get away from each other. So you just do a layer on each tray and we'll be back again. Alrighty, all my trays are full and stacked, as you can see, full to the rim. And I still have even enough left to do my Lazy Man cabbage rolls tonight. That recipe will be coming up. What I find the best part about dehydrating cabbage is that you don't have to blanch it first. You can just cut it up raw and just throw it in there and in about between nine to 12 hours, you're good to go with some dehydrated cabbage. All right, put the lid on here. Like I said, make sure all your trays are straight. And for vegetables, you wanna set it to 135. I'll plug it in. We'll be back in about nine to 12 hours. Okay, we're back. It's been about nine hours and they are ready. Let's have a look here. Slide this out. Yeah, take a look. Very nice, very nice. Now you want it to be leathery. These don't have to necessarily be crisp, but you don't want them to be, you know, like that's a good, you hear that? They don't have to be snap, crackle, pop, but you want them to be, you know, at least good and leathery and dry. Okay, and from there, you know the drill. We put them in our bowl, and then we get our funnel, and we put our funnel on top of our jar. And here, I already have some that was done up yesterday. This quart jar is a whole half of a cabbage. So about five pounds fits into a quart jar. Dehydrated cabbage is a good source of vitamins and it tastes great in soups, stews, casseroles, stir fries, uh, rice dishes, and so much more. You can rehydrate and saute it in some butter or olive oil with a little salt and pepper, that's really good. 
Uh, the uses are endless and the shelf life on this green goodness is up to 25 years if done properly. So how sweet is that? What's your favorite cabbage recipe? Let me know in the comments below and while you're down there and if you adore healthy foods like I do, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe and smack that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to all of my beautiful subscriber friends. As always, please take good care of yourself out there and much love.